the original season 2 episode 19 when the levee breaks this was definitely an insane episode leading up to the season finale we have four episodes left and this one was just crappy in so many different ways like the episode like the writing stuff wasn't crappy just the stuff that happened was obviously crappy i mean we obviously lost a good character we lost aiden in this episode and of course the, of course they did it when it's like Aiden and Josh finally have this moment. It's like, oh, I love you, I love you too. It's like, they always do it in TV shows where it's like, these two side characters, like one character is always doing something risky and it's like, if it's side characters, it's always the worst thing. It's like, they like don't have side characters in love because as soon as they say like the L word, boom, somebody dies. And unfortunately, that's what happens in this. And it was pretty messed up too. It wasn't like a simple thing like, you know, Dolly like snapped his neck and killed him. She, like, did the scratches and stuff to make it seem like it was Klaus. And then she basically, like, you know, sucks his heart straight out of him. And it was just really messed up how she did that. And, you know, there's a lot of other craziness. Like, Klaus, in this entire episode, honestly, I feel like he reached his peak in all forms of paranoia that we've ever seen. Um, they had a good joke in here that Josh made, like, um... Klaus calling me paranoid, Michaelson, and that's true, that's how he is, he's always been super paranoid of anyone and everyone new that comes into the fold, and he took it to the extreme, like, we've never seen him go this crazy, I think the only other time he's done something this just effing insane is when he actually killed his father in that episode, when he had that full-on conversation, and his thought process was, you're my actual father. This was a great fire, you know, talk around the campfire we just had. But I gotta kill you because you know my daughter's alive. That was just insane. And I feel like he had one of those moments in this episode. I feel like this entire episode was one of those giant moments expanded over like two days. I mean, he he's going through, he's like, I have this plan. He feels like Freya. I mean, honestly, her having said you made one weapon i don't know what he pulled out of that sentence like her saying you only made one weapon and you screwed us over somehow he pulled something out of there he pulled some little thread and he stuck with it like she's you know you know ruined herself and that was one thing i love that they actually did is that they go through this episode and there are multiple points where he talks about it like she said this and that and he just they don't give us that real plan like he has Part of his plan was hiding uh, Michael's ashes in the painting, and that's why he was painting, which I thought was cool, because I was when he started painting, I was like, oh, we haven't seen him really paint in a while. And I don't think we'd seen that since maybe the season finale of season one, or earlier this season when he was painting stuff, like and it was like for the wolves, and it had the moon in the sky and stuff like that. But I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then we, you know, Elijah figures it out at the end. He's hiding the paintings, you know, in plain sight. And so he had, that's obviously a part of his plan. That's most, of, I'm assuming, to kind of hide the items from Freya because he feels she's going to, I guess, take the items or something. I honestly can't figure out for the life of me what his plan is. Like, he's so freaked out. He's like, you know, he was talking to Cammy at the end of the episode. He's like, you know, I'm the only one that can protect her and he's freaking out about it and stuff. But he's doing so much to drive everybody away. And I mean, obviously he pushed it to its maximum in this level, especially with the end with Aiden being killed. And he's like, he had that moment too. He totally could have said, I thought he was going to say like he didn't do it. And he was freaked out, obviously. And he was contemplating because he was freaked out that it happened. And it's like, it looks like I did this, but I can just tell everyone I didn't. And he's just like, and they, they held it too. And that's why I wasn't sure what was going to happen because they held it for like 10 straight seconds. He was looking and thinking and, you know, trying to figure out how do I make this a part of the plan I already have and he just goes along with it like so what if I did this is what happens when people betray me and he has nothing to do with it he knows it was Dahlia obviously but he turned everyone against him and of course he paid for that at the end of this episode because if he hadn't done that it definitely wouldn't have pushed Davina to give Marcel the knife by the end of this episode because that was the big thing like her whole point was she was going to decide when it was going to get used. And this was the moment when he just randomly kills someone, you know, um, seemingly for giving out the information. Everyone kind of found out that he was uh, spying for Klaus after he died, of course. And it's just like, he pushed, he pushed everyone to that crazy moment. He pushed Elijah to 
you know, take this dagger and stab him and, you know, take him down and now he's going to be in the coffin like he's done to everyone several times. So, I don't know what the heck is going to happen in these next couple of episodes. Um, the preview kind of made it seem like they've, you know, they've gotten rid of Klaus temporarily and now Frey is going to end up being an issue because she wants to use Hope as bait to kind of draw Dahlia in and they kind of have issues with that for very obvious reasons because Dahlia is way too powerful to just, you know, hey, bait and switch type of thing. I mean, she can, you know, snap her fingers, probably drop the entire city or something. So, I don't know what the heck is going to take place in these next couple episodes. Obviously, um, I think the biggest thing that is fairly obvious at this point is that whatever Klaus has planned that we still don't really know about, it will end up saving everyone. And he's going to, it's going to be kind of interesting because he's going to be right that his plan was the plan. But it's the way he went about it that was wrong the entire time. Because I feel like what's going to happen is they aren't going to be able to beat her. And they're going to have to bring Klaus back. And his plan's going to work. And he's going to be like, see, if everyone just trusted me. And I don't think he'll realize, like, when everyone tells him, like, if you just told us this was the plan, then it would have been fine. But his entire thing, like, he literally, he pushed everyone out for one person. And it was because of Freya. And he doesn't want her to be a part of the plan. And he doesn't think... I mean, honestly, I'm sure he could have told Elijah. And maybe he couldn't because Elijah is trying to bond the entire family. But he could have at least tried to... Instead of forcing him to choose, you know, Freya or him. He could have at least been like... You know, I'm not gonna... You know, don't tell her the plan. But he was... You know, obviously he's way too paranoid for that. So it was kind of... He took that option right out. Like, he could have told him, look, I'm gonna give you the plan... But you cannot tell anyone. It's just, no. Like, you either you know the plan because you're with me 100%, or you don't know the plan because you're with me 0%. So, Klaus being his insane, paranoid, psychopath self, like, that's the true psychopath when it's just, like, not even involving murders and stuff. He just does stupid, crazy stuff, and he's excessively, you know, hypocritical to just all plans, especially when it comes to hope. Like, he wants to save her, but everything he's doing is like when when it's literally everyone versus you you have to find some new plan you can't just yell at everybody and say my plan is gonna work you gotta figure something out like and you know you, you the last thing you should do is go along and say yeah i killed that person because you want other people to fear you which i still you know i thought even initially terrible idea for him when he's trying to take over the wolves and like when he was trying to make aiden believe that he should be alpha and stuff like that i still thought that was the worst idea like he wanted this stuff to happen and it happened the wolves are here they're here to protect hope and he's trying to like break it down just so that he can be so he can be you know top dog and yeah it just ruins all the plans because he wants to use his plan because he thinks it's perfect and it could be but it's always his you know path towards succeeding those plans that ends up being terrible and he really really proved that to everyone viewers and you know uh, characters alike in this episode and he paid for it by the end so we really don't know what's going to happen the spell has been broken by the end of this episode dahlia's theme plays in the bells um elijah looked freaking petrified he was like just scared like i don't know what to do because this woman is just epically powerful so they don't really know what to do freya is you know, she's something, like, she's some, you know, something that they can use against Dahlia, but not that much. Like, she's still not that powerful to just take Dahlia on. None of them can fight her because she can just, you know, boom, snap her fingers and, and you know, they're down. Um, so I, I don't really know what to expect. Like, we lost a good character in this episode. Um, you know, Klaus has been taken down due to his just paranoia and arrogance to his ideas and not trying to work with everyone because he doesn't trust Freya. And who knows, maybe without him, it will be too difficult to defeat Dahlia. And maybe, obviously with him, it would have been too difficult too because he was just stopping each plan that would have worked. And so Haley and... Um, damn, I can never remember that guy's name. I can never remember the Alpha's name. But she's taking Hope with him to the bayou, and so they got the little bracelet for Hope so that she can't um, spontaneously do magic. And it seemed like that was a good plan, but for whatever reason, they do have the scene in the preview 
that Elijah goes to the body and there are like people holding bows and arrows you know, facing him and he's kind of looking mad and you know the alpha guy he's looking mad at Elijah so I don't know what goes wrong there but I'm excited for these last couple episodes I don't know really what to expect I feel like you know with her having been introduced so recently she's not going to be defeated by the end of this season something is something big is going to happen and I think the one thing that may take place is that somehow some way they're going to break the one year curse and maybe that's how she's going to stay as the main villain for a while like maybe that's how they'll do it they'll break that curse and she won't be as powerful because you know with her living a normal life that magic will kind of dissipate and you know it won't just be like she's incredibly powerful because it's just one year it's like once the spell is broken it's like well theoretically you're gonna live you you aren't gonna um fall into this deep sleep for a hundred years you're gonna stay awake and you know it's magic so it's you know like technology i guess <laughs> the spell's gonna know that so it might weaken her in the current state and that's how she'll be the villain for season three but I don't know what's really going to take place. Klaus is screwed up. Um, it takes the blame for Aiden's death. Dolly killed Aiden. And Dolly had like a genius plan turning uh, Klaus and Elijah against each other. And ultimately, it did work. It seemed like it didn't at first. Because Elijah still stood up for Klaus even after he took the blame for Aiden's death. And you know, then after that, when he realized like Haley has a good plan. Stop the magic. Dolly can't track them take them somewhere that she doesn't know even if she did find them and so was, like ultimately by the end Dahlia got exactly what she wanted and of course you know being television it happens right before the bells ring like as soon as he fell over it was like boom and the bells start to ring so I'm really excited for these last couple of episodes it should be crazy it's insane to have this villain who's been like this really kind of a legend up until the last episode and there are like six episodes with her in it or five or six episodes so it's crazy to have this villain who's been talked about and now she is the villain like they got rid of Finn um, from taking over Vincent they had like their little moment with Eva Sinclair and now Dolly is here and you know there's no way they're gonna beat her in these six episodes and if they do it can't be something permanent like some there's gonna be some cost that is gonna be insane for the finale or she's just going to be weaker or stronger or something but i'm definitely excited of course i want to know what you guys thought about this episode so please comment below let me know your favorite parts your least favorite parts and i have to ask what do you guys think of klaus and just everything he did in this episode like what do you guys think his plan actually is like what did he get from freya saying that she gave herself up like i like i said i don't know what he pulled out of that saying he gave herself up um you know, she gave herself up because she said they made one weapon or something like that. Like, I just didn't understand where he was coming from. And no matter how many times they sort of explained it, by the end it was just like, I don't understand his plan. I don't know what he's, I don't know what he was thinking. And obviously, you know, just taking bad steps left and right because of his paranoia. But, you know, like I said, I want to know what you guys thought about it. So please comment below, let me know. And thanks for watching.